hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to this video and in this video we are going to look at we're going to look at uh, biology exam boost and uh, this is our academy previous tutor and let's see how we can answer these two questions so this is under classification if you've heard of a topic classification in biology it comes a lot it says the diagram below shows a young deer feeding from its mother so this is this is a young deer here this one here okay the one uh, this one here that we are seeing there it's feeding from the mother and then they are saying okay state two features visible in the diagram that distinguish mammals from other vertebrates now the keyword here is visible so those features they are visible from here you must be able to see them all right so what do we know about uh, uh, mammals all right what do we know about mammals if someone asked you what do we know about mammals now we know that mammals they are a class of animals right um that have got a warm blooded skin all right they've got hair or fur on their bodies and they have got what to call mammary glands but they have they also give birth like live birth right uh and most of them they have got um a heart with four chambers so all these are features of mammals now I've talked about five features of a mammal. Now, from those five features of a mammal, we are going to pick those that are visible from this one here that are able to, to, to distinguish mammals from other vertebrates. So let's go. What can we see from there? Okay, so number one. So the first one is it's the presence of uh, the mammary glands. The fact that that cardia is feeding it's feeding, right? You can see that they, they are there. The mammary glands are there. That's where it's feeding from. So, so you can say presence of mammary glands. You don't have to explain. You just see stating, right? So the first one is presence of mammary mammary glands. So the presence of mammary glands is one of the uh, features that mammals possess that distinguish them from other beta blades. All right. Now, beta blades are animals with a beta blade column. Even mammals, they do have a beta blade column, but not all uh, beta blades, they have features that mammals possess. From the diagram there, what else can we see? I can also see that in, this is an animal. So it has got fur. You can see those tomorrow. tomorrow to my fuzz, right? Those to my things that are being shown as far. In short, in a, I don't know what you call far or fair in your language. All right. Yeah, but that hairy, hairy, which animals have outside their body. You can see it's visible, right? So, number two is the uh, body. You can say body covered in what? In? In fur. So the body is covered in what? In fur. Or you can say air. Air. Like that. Are these the only features that we are able to see? Yes. Because we are able to see those. The rest like having a four-chambered heart. We can't see the heart there. The other one is... Um, uh, home blooded we cannot see that so these are the two visible features of course there, there can be others that can be seen from there okay we can now proceed to question two and see what we question two has for us okay so question two is saying um a lot needs uh Clustaceans, insects, and uh, myriapods are all classified as arthropods. 
uh, then it further says scorpions such as heterometrus and uh, the swamadan shown in this diagram below are acnides as well. Then what's the question say? State three features shown by the H swamadan and visible in the diagram above that acnides or you can say acnides it's up to you share with other arthropods so we need to understand something here this what is that now arthropods they are a group of invertebrate what animals that possess a lot of characteristics such as they have got an exoskeleton they also have a body with segments all right they also have a body uh, with joints all right or, or we can say jointed appendages all right so they are joined those things like the legs the antenna and the pincers they are jo they are jointed like that then um, they are also they are also diverse it's one of the most diverse uh groups of what invertebrates in the world millions of them so state three features shown by this guy here and that are visible in the same diagram above that acnids share with other anthropods remember that eh? acnids they are part of what anthropods so which features do these acnids possessed possessed by this one which is also an acne are also shared with what eh? arthropods that we are able to see from the diagram here so in short what features can we see here that other arthropods have anthropods like acnids and uh, insects so number one that we can see from here i can clearly see the exoskeleton i can see clear the exoskeleton the skeleton this is an exoskeleton this is an exoskeleton okay so we have so the first one is the presence of what exoati skeleton so we have the exoati skeleton you don't have to explain remember the case they were the question saying stay time so the number one is the exoskeleton we can see it clearly there number two let's let let me let me take you back just on the same diagram you can clearly see that let me just erase this that i've read that i've second there you can clearly see that um you can start let's say from here this part here is a segment on its own you see now nah? also these they are segments on its own the to my legs there are also segments on this on their own and the tail is also a segment starting from somewhere there so from there we can say that these uh this acne or this feature here which is the swammer dummy has got what segmented body parts all right so the body parts of this they are in segments all right so we have uh, segmented what body segmented body let's go to the other one which other feature can we see clearly here all right now look at this and i want you to pay particular attention okay you can see that yes in as much as there's a game seg seg is segmented right but they are joined there's a joint they are joined like that you see that they how they are joined right they are joined 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 like that all those to my joining 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 those to my joining there it's a feature possessed by almost all the arthropods so number one what you can say we have these things they have what we call uh jointed duty appendages like the parts there so they have jointed appendages So 
that will give you three marks and the other one will give you uh, two marks right so i hope you have enjoyed this video classification is one of the most important topics in biology which you don't have to miss so thank you